So Kentucky Fried Chicken is pretty good, but that's not the topic we're going to talk about here. We're going to talk a little bit about black holes, more specifically their lifespan and some super fun facts. But before that, we need to start with stars. And no, Jonathan, pop stars have nothing to do with black holes. Probably. So stars are bright because they'd be doing something called fusion. So Earth is pathetic. It doesn't fuse hydrogen into helium, which is what the sun usually fuses. However, since the sun is not pathetic and has an immense force of gravity, it can just kind of... And the outward pressure from the fusion reaction is in equilibrium with the inward pressure of the sun's gravity, preventing it from collapsing in on itself. So at Hamza's, the more chunk a star gets, the more heat and pressure there are at their core. This causes them to fuse heavier and heavier elements, until iron. And the thing with iron is, it's kind of a bitch, because fusing it to iron doesn't get you any energy. So eventually, there'll be so much iron that the gravity is stronger than the radiation. So the star will collapse into itself, forming a black hole. Hey, subscribe. So now, we have our hole. But this isn't the black hole. What you're looking at? is what's called the event horizon. And behind it, or in it, or whatever, is what one would call a singularity. So the thing is, we have absolutely no idea what the singularity is. Moving on, how does a black hole die? Shotgun? No. Well, in order to understand this, we first need to look at virtual particles. And with we, I mean you, because I don't really get it myself. So basically, empty space is inhabited by virtual particles, which appear and then annihilate each other. Um, <laughs> but if empty space is filled with virtual particles, then it's not really empty, is it? Okay, so when this happens at the edge of a black hole, one virtual particle goes in and one does not and becomes a real part. This process takes energy from the black hole, which makes it smaller and smaller until it blows up, releasing a bunch of radiation. Hey. And the biggest black holes will probably take a Google years to die, which is a one followed by a hundred zeros. Fun fact time, baby! Fun fact number one. Did you know that time actually slows down around a black hole? I feel like a lot of people actually know that. Why you ask? Well, Einstein said so. His theory of relativity states that in a simplified manner, the chunkier something is, the more it bends space-time. And black holes are pretty chunky. Fun fact number two. Black holes aren't like vacuum cleaners. If you'd replace the sun with an equally massive black hole, it wouldn't really change anything, except for that we'd perish. Fun fact number three, if you were to fall into a black hole, you'd probably die. Fun fact number four, you know how I mentioned the chunk black holes that would take forever to die? Yeah, with those I meant super massive black holes. And a lot of galaxies probably have one at their center, including our own. Fun fact number 4.1, the biggest recorded super massive black hole is 6.6 .6 times 10 to the power of 10 times as big as our sun. Or in other words, about 66 billion times the mass of our sun. Or in other words, that's some serious chunk right there. In fact, number five, black holes can also be as small as a single atom, but have the mass of multiple mountains. Fun fact number six, this video is now over. So yeah, thanks for watching and thanks for all the supportive comments on the last video. And sorry it took so long to upload this, but you know, school is, is too much work. Uh, but I'm gonna work on the next one now. So see you then, bye.